What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tale. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous uh, week so far. Happy Friday Eve, okay? If these... I ran out of time last night to do the personal readings and stuff like that. So, um, I'm gonna... I ran out, of, ran out of time last night on personal reading for, to do personal reading, so... Um, I'll start on those today. I had to do some extra paperwork. Uh, but let's see. Let's get three cards. See what's going on. I tell you what. Let's not do three cards. Let's do. Let's do this. Clarify the energy for my Scorpios, please. I get ready to take my daughter to the bus stop. All right. One more shuffle. Clarify the energy for my Scorpios. I ignore my hair. And by the time I come back, I'm probably going to hit pause on the video. And by the time I come back in the video, I'm probably going to have changed my hair and my clothes. But it's because I had to run and take my daughter to the bus stop. And I just figured I'd go ahead and get ready. So what's going on? Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Well, happy family. Okay. And son. Oh. So some of y'all could be spending time with family. Now, this could also be you. Meeting somebody, because I remember this card is like meeting somebody, and y'all could be like, um, what's it called when you bring the family together? Is joining family or something like that. So you could be getting ready to do that with somebody, or this is just you just being in this happy energy, enjoying the family that you have around you, whether it's like a mother, father, sister, brother type of energy. What else is going on for my Scorpio? The garden and the gate. Okay. So this is you needing to step outside your comfort zone when it comes to a particular situation. Woman holding a coin. Oh, man holding a coin. Oh, my goodness. Woman and man holding a coin. That was a matches. It's like Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So some of y'all need to step outside the comfort zone. And this may have to do with, you know, bringing something stable to the table. <laughs> You're bringing something stable to the table. This could be you meeting two people. Uh, two people meeting. They actually have a lot in common. They're ready to link up or be together, but, you know, they, they're both comfortable in their own right, but they have to step outside that comfort zone or outside that gate in order to experience even more, okay? So what else is going on with Scorpio? Walking away. Oh, well, strategy on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be, okay, for some of y'all, somebody could be married because queen of, king, king and queen of pentacles is married people okay but somebody may have to walk away from a family dynamic okay the story's changing now oh my god okay happy family the garden and the gate and walking away somebody may already be in a family dynamic and somebody may need to walk away okay strategize so somebody could be strategizing that leaving that behind uh, this could be you know they could be in a relationship but just not be happy um oh child what's going on Happy family, the garden and the gate walking away. What's that? Happy family, the garden and the gate walking away. Goddess of the moon. I mean, this could even be like y'all been separated for, I don't know how long, but y'all still live together and y'all just miserable. Or y'all been separated, y'all live, you know, in different locations, but you still got to file for the divorce. It could be anything like that. Goddess of the moon with patience. So somebody could be hiding this that they're wanting to walk away from. Oh, oh my God. Somebody could be hiding that they want to walk away from a family that, okay, I'm about to. <laughs> Give me one more. What's going on? Man holding a cord. Okay. And anxiety. So the masculine could be wanting to walk away from this family dynamic. Um, but um, they know they have to step outside their comfort zone in order to do it. There could be, they could be hiding this that they're feeling anxious about it with the anxiety card. Or this could be somebody walking away from this energy, but they're hiding, they're walking away from this man holding a coconut child. Strategy, angel of balance, Lord of value. So somebody could be trying to strategize on how to save their money or they're waiting on a financial opportunity. In order to walk away, we got the thinking woman. I'm, I'm, I don't feel like I need to say any more on that because I feel like I'm telling somebody's business business and I don't want to do that. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't 
no, I don't know. That was a rough one there. Um, I just seen Gold Digger at the bottom of the deck. Love spell. Somebody feels like maybe somebody did a love spell on them and they just want them for money or finances. Air sign energy is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, manifest. Somebody could be manifesting communication or somebody could be manifesting another air sign. What's going on? For Scorpio. Love spell. You've been bewitched. See, somebody feels like they're they're under a spell. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. Somebody feels like somebody could be manifesting communication or manifesting clarity or manifesting this air sign, right? But somebody feels like they're under a love spell. They feel like somebody's emotionally unavailable. So they feel like somebody could just love bombing them or just, you know, saying whatever to, you know, give to gab type of energy and then caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, so somebody may be, may be cautious right now because of that. Uh, pets, getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love, and then pregnancy. Someone is expecting... Somebody could be finding out that some, somebody's pregnant. Now, this could be a pregnant animal. Or somebody is loyal to somebody and they're just, they're waiting to plant the seed. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. One second, y'all. All right. Let's keep going. So, let's clarify this air sign energy. Why the air sign? So this could be communication, thoughts, okay, paperwork, legalities, needing to journal something, write something, say something, you know. What's the air sign energy about with the Gemini Libra Aquarius? Or you could be dealing with an air sign or you have this in your chart. Some of y'all are Libra Scorpio cuspers. What's the air sign energy? And there's uh, the Knight of Wands and the Fool. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, you think this air sign is flighty. You think they come in for sexual adventures or you think they're f being foolish. There could be a lack of commitment in this situation. Or this is how you view them or they view you. Whichever. Flip the roles. Somebody, I mean, the fool and the fool, the fool and the knight of wands. Dang, that's like flighty, fast, quick uh, sexual energy. I mean, lack of commitment, you know, freedom, type five of wands. There could be an argument. Somebody could be fighting over this or somebody, um, there could be competition in this situation. Somebody could feel like there's competition and that's why they're so flighty or they're so... Somebody feels like they're being foolish for even like coming towards you or you feel foolish for doing this. For some of y'all, this person could be married. Or somebody's wanting the Ten of Cups happily ever after, but somebody feels like somebody's just flighty. What's the air sign energy? See, somebody need to walk away from something first. What's the air sign energy? Coffee cup. Meeting and talking, saving the moment, feeling elevated, building a friendship. Y'all could be building a friendship right now. Maybe y'all are meeting up. Death card. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Some of y'all, maybe that's what y'all are doing. Y'all leaving one relationship and y'all are meeting this person. And it can be very flighty energy right now. Um, maybe y'all you know, visit each other. It's like, you know, very sexually attracted, but karmic relationship, engagement ring, and the chaser. Ah. Some of y'all could still be healing from a karmic relationship, so this is like, this could be how you're viewing this person, or this person's viewing you, because of prior engagements to another person. Karmic relationship, engagement ring, and then the chaser. So some of y'all feel like Somebody may be afraid that somebody's going to abandon the other. Or, or maybe in the past karmic relationship, like past relationships, that's how you thought. Because you got camera reminiscing, make memories learn from the past. Somebody could have been flighty. Uh, this could be a very intense connection too. A very intense connection. Uh, 
type of things feel flighty. Feel, what's, what's the tea on it? <laughs> I don't even know why. Clarify the air sign energy. You're a fight. Um, somebody feels like they got a, arguments, physical fight at war and competing. Somebody feels like they have to compete. That's the yeah, low IQ. Like somebody feel like they like you try, you trying to play on my innocence or something like that. What's air sign energy? What's the air sign energy for a Scorpio? Rejected. Somebody doesn't want to get rejected. Looking you up. Somebody don't want to be rejected here. It's like, and that could be the reason why. Things are like flighty or there's a lack of commitment here because somebody feels as though somebody's putting them in competition with another person. They don't want to get rejected, okay? I don't know if this is you or your person. Somebody could be looking you up, trying to, yeah, like fake flexing and dirty offer. Somebody's like, no, nah, this ain't, this this offer ain't legit. I feel like it's a dirty offer. And it could be because somebody's still attached to another person, okay? So clarify the love spell card. You've been bewitched. Clarify the love spell. But with the goddess of the moon and man holding the coin, it looks like somebody wants to offer something stable. What's the love spell with you've been bewitched? What's the love spell with two of cups and the ten of pentacles? So a harmonious relationship, a relationship with mutual respect, four of cups. Oh, wow. Somebody feels like you're going growing bored with them or they could be bored in another connection or for some of somebody could only be in another connection because of money or finances or something like that. What's love spell? Two of cups and a ten of pentacles. Or somebody could be trying to make sure, you know, like we're not just coming together because of money or what's the love spell card? Grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. Self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Y'all two may have like this equal attraction to each other, right? Where y'all want to come together, where y'all want to build like a foundation. Y'all both could be very privileged. But somebody could be a um, codependent or obsessed or you have addiction, codependent, obsession and restraint, possession and control, emotional block. Somebody could be possessive or like they're trying to make sure they don't lose out on something like they, they, they feel like they got something to lose. Y'all both have something to lose. What's, what's the love spell for, for Scorpio? camera reminisce and making memories learn from the past and perceptions so some somebody still could be going through something with their past that could be affecting this connection blowing kiss unconditional love giving and receiving fairness and love affection and return and it's like okay there's this energy of like somebody's trying to make sure they're not being love bombed or like put under a love spell and have them thinking like oh it's going to be something we're going to build something we're going to um have this type of you know, end all be all ten of pentacles. It's like generational wealth. It's uh, coming together, con like joining families, you know, growing old together, meeting families, stuff like that. Because there's dogs, kids, an uh, older person in the picture, to the two people that's coupled together. It's like, one second. It's like somebody doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity or a star of the nine of cups. The seven of pentacles maybe somebody already has something invested or and they're still healing from it with the star the nine of cups the seven of pentacles somebody could be really focused on their money their finances their inheritance as well so somebody's trying to like you know like man i don't i don't have time for love spells like don't be playing games with me or something like that what's the two of cups with the ten of pentacles travel somebody could live at a distance Incarcerated, locked up, about to be always in and out. Somebody don't want somebody to be in and out of their life. Somebody could be stuck in their head about another person. What's the love spell? Why is this coming out like that? Love triangle. See, somebody, somebody, there's an energy of somebody having to leave one situation to go be with the other person. Somebody is attached in some sort of way. They lost their chance or you did. Bad karma. And 
there could be this energy of somebody's trying to make sure they, they stay grounded because they know last time they got with somebody or something like that, when it was like, you know, mutual respect and stuff like that, somebody put them in competition and they ended up getting rejected. Now, I don't know if this is you or another person. It's like, yo, look, like I done dealt with somebody that's flighty, that's in and out, that's inconsistent. Somebody done put me in a third party situation. Maybe you lived at a distance from this person or something like that. And they use me for my finances because I'm stable, secure, you know. Or they use me for what I had. Maybe this is somebody that, I don't know. Moving on. Thank you. Next. Or this is just somebody letting, letting them know, like, no, we have mutual respect in this relationship. I just, I'm moving on from this person. I'm trying to get past them. Maybe there's some sort of inheritance or something like that. What's the two of cups with the ten of pentacles? There could be kids, you know, something with money. What's the two of cups with the ten of pentacles? Fake smiles. It's like, I'm just trying to make sure we're not faking the font. Dust it off. Yeah, like, somebody just trying to make sure somebody's not pretending. Fake flexing. Like, I don't need you fronting and being like, no, nah, we're not really. Don't be love bombing me and pretend like we together or like we building something and it's really not happening. And you already got something built and you ain't trying to let that go. Somebody could have went through that in the past, like got put into a third party situation. Yeah, threatening, intimidated, bo uh, threatened and bothered. Like there's something already dirty offer. Somebody just don't want to get a fucked up. You know how like you meet somebody and you like, and, it's, and, and maybe they're like, yeah, I got a baby mom or baby daddy or something like that. Or, yeah, uh, I'm going through a divorce or separation, right? And you're like, okay. And, you know, say this person's like, I want to take you out. I want to start to date you. And you're wondering like, well, you say you're going through a separation or divorce or you say y'all two are no longer together, whatever it is. But they already have something established. Maybe they got to end the lease or something like that. It's like, do you date this person? Can you trust that this person's being honest that they about to leave this person? Or... You know, I mean, it could be a lot invested between the other two people or something like that. And you're like, I don't want to deal with the third party situation. Like, is this person wearing a fake mask or we have curious about you coming out and then crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, and etc. Bottom of the deck, haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, and side effects. Yeah, it's like maybe Queen Rising. Maybe you've already... You've already dealt with these types of energy, like love bombing energies and like people come in, they want to try to act like they're going to build some with, something with you. Or maybe you've already went through the third party situation before. You just don't want to go through that again. We got Queen Rising and Dodging Bullets. So it's like you're trying your best to dodge, you know, like third party situations. You're trying your best to dodge love bombing energies because you don't want to deal with that. And with that camera there, it's like, one second. Wow. Who did chair right yeah, it's my son. But you could be trying to dodge people like that. Like, I just don't want, if you already got something established, I don't want to bother that. Or if you are already in a relationship, I don't want that. This could be a friendship turning. You Maybe somebody wants to turn it into a relationship, but it's like, look, bad creativity, about your bad reputation and haunted. Or this is how this person feels like I ain't trying to get with nobody that's going to use me, take advantage of me or something. I don't know. Um. Because, again, it looks like somebody has to leave something and walk away from something in order to have this stability, security, you know. What's caution? Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Wait, wrong deck. Like, you're not just messing with me because you're bored, right? Like, this ain't just, oh, I'm bored over here, so I want to have a good time. That's, I don't know. <laughs> What's caution? A Scorpio. The temperance card. So somebody's patiently waiting for something to play out. The three of wands, yeah, they're, they're patiently waiting to see how something goes or how something turns out or if this opportunity is going to come in. Somebody's trying to stay calm and keep just a harmonious relationship. Like, no, you know, I'm going to stay calm. Somebody feels like you are their soulmate or you're or you are their soulmate. Look, seven of swords and ace of pentacles because it looks like somebody's trying to strategize on how to come towards somebody. But they're trying to make sure... For one, somebody's trying to make sure, like, I I, I don't want to be with somebody that's just trying to use me or take advantage of me. or Because it's the same pentacle. Like, it's like somebody does want to offer something stable, secure, you know, something you could touch, taste, feel, see. Somebody's manifesting it. But it's also like somebody is trying to 
make sure somebody's not masquerading as a friend or being sneaky lying cheating being deceptive before they offer this um, opportunity but somebody definitely wants to offer somebody something here in the future they want success with a person six of wands three of wands this person could be very successful you could be very successful and it's like they're trying to make sure oh, okay let me make sure this person not just trying to get with me because of money or because you know i'm a stable offer i'm a secure offer or something like that you know and this person gonna be flighty or something <laughs> what's the caution with the temperance card for scorpio what somebody just like oh somebody is watching somebody so glasses sunglasses watching looking perception stalking so somebody could be trying to like get information on you make sure you i don't feel like it's in a bad way it's kind of like you know what let me just let me just kick back for a second let me just watch how this person moves let me watch how date let me just date this person you know get to it says get back out there meeting someone new setting a date date online so some of y'all can be going on a date and this person look love call expressing love message of love thinking of you informing you because i do believe this person is in love with you but they just want to make sure and you want to make sure, I feel like both of y'all are doing this, like I'm not getting played or this person isn't playing me, right? What's the caution with the temperance card for Scorpio? Family issues. Somebody could be going through some sort of family issues as well. Somebody could be going through some sort of family issues. Somebody could be holding a grudge or something like that. Or maybe somebody dealt with family issues in the past and this could be like reminding them of something like maybe childhood and things like that. Most caution with the tempers card running. That could be the reason why somebody's running away. They lost their chance or you did. Or somebody's trying to get away from a person or a situation. What's caution with temperance? Dust it off. Yeah. But it's like somebody's trying to dust it off and keep moving. Creativity muncher. Because it's like, okay. Maybe somebody's running away from somebody that used them or took advantage of them or something. What's caution with the temperance card? Ain't shit shine your light irritates their demons so somebody just basically cock blocking there could be like an ex trying to cock block or something like that as well like an ancient ass ex that could be chasing another person and they're trying to get away from that so somebody's just trying to make sure somebody's not going back to their ex or they're repeating a cycle okay with a dirty offer look dirty offer bad reputation somebody could be trying to like you, you maybe somebody tried to ruin your reputation or said something bad about your reputation or something like that like you can't trust that person and somebody's just being cautious like well let me just keep an eye out you know just in case i don't feel like it's in a bad way they're just like let me just see <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i'm leaving there scorpio this is what i have for you hope it brings you clarity and insight appreciate y'all so much for watching catch you on the next video bye y'all